Today we are converting the rear drum brakes to disc brakes on my 1978 Datsun 280Z. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace McTaggart and today we are making a video about my 1978 Datsun 280Z. So if that sounds cool to you, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the content that we put out with this car. We've been doing a bunch with it and we have a whole build series and we are really close to actually driving it and probably taking it on a track. So if that sounds cool, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. This is a pretty big job and there's not many instructions out there on how to do this so I'm hoping that this helps anyone who's trying to or I hope you just find it cool let's go ahead and get into it okay so this is what the rear axle and assembly looks like without the drum on it I'm gonna kind of go over how we removed it because it was a real pain to get off but pretty much overall this is what you want it to look like before you install the new rotors the hardest part of this was actually cutting the dust shield off the only real way to get this off in an efficient manner is just cutting a dust shield off and so i actually took mine to lg motorsports and they cut it for me so huge shout out to lg for helping with that you can cut them yourselves if you have an angle grinder and a dremel but it'll just be a little more difficult i'd recommend you just take them to a shop and have them do it for you so here are the rear drums this is everything that came out of the drums so you have like the uh shoes i guess brake shoes is what they call it you have the actual drum itself the drum you actually just use a hammer and you knock it off i've done that in a previous video so i'll link that somewhere so you can kind of see how i got the drum cover off as well as all of this stuff you just need to kind of pull and pry out i didn't really film any of it so i'll link some references down below so you can kind of figure out how to take the drums off but we're going to be focusing mainly on installing the rear discs because that is the part that there's like no documentation for on the internet so i'm going to show you guys how to do it or at least the way that we figured out how to do it i'm not sure if it's right i'm hoping it's right I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, so this kit is from Techno Toy Tuning. I'll link it down below, so if you wanna buy this for your Datsun, you can have it. Basically, the kit comes with brand new rotors to replace the drums. It comes with this little adapter piece right here. And of course, it comes with brand new calipers. These, I opted to go with red. I think they come like stock option gray or black or something like that. I wanted to go with the red. I like being a little flashy like that, so, and also, the red just looks so, so beautiful. I mean, come on. Comes with the brake pads as well. And it comes with two beautifully machined adapters that help you mount the caliper to the hub. One thing that I love about Techno Toy Tuning that we've worked with them in the past with, they actually etch the torque spec into the bracket. So you know exactly how much to torque these things down even after you take them off the car and you've lost the instructions for you know however long it's been all right so first you want to start with this adapter piece you want to get this on from what i have found is it actually mounts on the front side of the car not the rear um it doesn't go like this it just fa mounts right here facing forward once you have the bracket on next we're going to put on this adapter right here um the flared part sits flush against the hub and then you're going to take the rotor and you're gonna put it on just like that. Now, really the rotor is only held in through the lugs and the wheel being fully attached, so it's gonna feel loose um, until the entire assembly is put back together. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the caliper. There's a couple ways you can do this. The way that we did it was we're gonna take these pins out right here. These pins hold in the brake pads. So once you get the pins out, you can go ahead and mount this up. Now, you could go ahead and put the pads in and then mount everything. You can kind of just pick whatever way you think is best. We're doing it this way where we take the caliper, we mount it, and then we put the pads in. So again, you can kind of do this any way that you want as long as you get it on there. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, again, the pads aren't in it right now, but we're gonna slide the pads in there uh, and put the pins back through. Okay, so pads pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think I really need to explain it much, but this black part, this metal part, faces away from the rotor. And just like that, the pads are in, and now we just need to line up the holes so the pins can go back on in. Now again, this rotor will feel loose, um, until you put the wheel on to the whole assembly and tighten it down with the lug nut. Now there is a braided brake line that you have to hook to this hard brake line and run. Uh, we're not going to do that tonight. The reason why is because we'd have to bleed the brakes and we're really not set up to bleed the brakes tonight. But when you do this, you have to bleed the brakes. For now, we're not going to do that in this video. 
uh, and we'll we'll do it in a future one. Anyways, here is the brake setup fully installed. It looks super, super good. Again, this is the micro big brake kit from Willwood, so you can run smaller wheels, um, and it will clear a lot easier. Now, if you do kind of a clearance check, it definitely, it definitely fits, which is really good. Also, this is set up for the e-brake. Now, I didn't install the e-brake on this. I'm waiting on a new e-brake cable to come in, so that's why you didn't see us hook that up. But overall, this looks incredible, and I think these will work really, really well on the track and street and everything like that. Anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Again, a huge shout out to LG Motorsports for cutting that piece for me. I really couldn't have done it without them. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up on the other side, and then we will be good to go. This will be ready to put back down. Anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you on the next one. We will be driving this car very, very soon, and it's going to be a completely different car from when we started. So be sure to look out for that. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So LG Motorsports actually... Can you? <laughs> <laughs>